So Larry's taking about, how many pieces did you take? How many pieces did you put off your car? I'm not positive now, I haven't. <laughs> We're, I we're think we were up to 54. Yeah, we were taking first pieces of the car I was doing and uh, ordering chrome bolts. So there was a couple that didn't come in. and um, So we got the Black Knight. Where's, is this the one that's doing uh, We've got some samples on the back side of this one. Yeah, this, these are actually covers. It's got some plastic on it. These are covers for uh, to go to hide your motor mounts. So they'll bolt on and you won't see that. But they've uh, they've chosen some the design for the, the Black Knight. Can you see that very well? There we go. You can see the dying. Okay, so we got a Black Knight there. So this is just practice ones. And we got, uh, let's see, on the T handle, the T bolts for the valve covers. You have the T bolts. You have those? I want, I want to see that happen too. That's right behind us. We're going to test Chris's skill here. It's all been clogged. Oh. So, I mean, Larry's serious. So he's got everything twisted so down number, tight. And here's <laughs> number four. Number for where they go. And there's number four. So that they're going to be tight the right direction. It's going to have that helmet that you've seen in the bigger picture in the center of that. And then on the turn here, it's going to say black no. night. No. I, want, I want to see these get done. So we're, we're getting extremely detailed here. This thing will do three-dimensional, right? Correct. Yep. Oh, we're going to see something different here. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if you can see the depth on this. I can see the depth, even without my glasses. Oh, I can see the depth on that. So you can kind of see the depth. Tilt it down a little bit. This way. And then based on the frequency, how do you change the color? Uh, we play with frequency, we play with speed, and we also play with the amount of wattage that we burn it at. So with the Black Knight, it's going to be black. So it won't be just be etching it out like this would be etched. It will be etching it out and, and turning the metal black or a very dark gray anyway. They've been, uh, yeah, I would, I would think so. Okay. Manipulating the two figures, so we wanted the knights jousting on the front there, and Chris had a great idea. <laughs> One night in the, uh, in the piece here, there's Larry, and the other knight. This is wife. That's his wife. Sujia. Sujia. And Chris said you could always buy another. <laughs> you could always buy another one of these. Way easier than taking a tattoo off, also. So <laughs> we're really good to go. Yeah, we're gonna skip those because we're gonna polish them a little bit. Okay, so you don't get to see those. Sorry. Um, yeah, but you can see them when we're done. But just not. not yeah, we were gonna do not the one button, but yeah. We're gonna do that. I mean, this looks pretty shiny. I mean, you see any scratches in there? You can't. I mean, I don't. I've got my glasses off, but even if I put my glasses on. Who polished that, Bob? The jeweler. Actually, who polished it first, and then who polished it second is the real question. <coughs> oh, you got it out. There is nothing. So this has been polished by a jeweler. So the covers were rejected by this the jeweler. Is top, this is so we, we're going to make sure everything is polished extremely yes. nice. Yes. Uh, past the automotive polishing into jewel polishing. So this is taking your show car to the next level, right? Well, yes, I would one. think so. So we're going to, this is going to be uniquely yours. We had a, did one the other day, uh, how to make your, your car yours, and uh, we were doing pinstriping, mm -hmm. and talked about different steering wheels and yep, different... I saw that show. But you are taking this to a level that, I don't know that I've seen it to this level. So, you're starting a new trend? Maybe. Are we starting a new trend is, here? Yes, for Chris. This should be Chris, really yeah, Chris for you. Now, you can go to his Facebook page, but Make do sure not like, like it. it. Do not like it. He's like a couple hundred ahead of us on likes, and we do not want him to have more likes than us. <laughs> Stephanie may lose her job if they continue on this trend, so we've got to get more likes. So That's for Stephanie's like sake, if you have not liked the Spirit Cars Facebook page, hit like on that now. So what, what is your Facebook page name? Carter's Jewel Chest? 
Yep, Carter's Jewel Chest. Carter's Jewel Chest. Go there, check it out, don't like it. <laughs> and we got the Black Knight, so we're, here's something we're going to put on something. Something that's we're going to put on the motor mount cover. Okay, that's going to go on the motor mount cover. So they've just done that and laying it out in the in the machine there. And you can see the magnification up on the top when it closes the cover. Chris is moving the moving it around, making it a little bit smaller. This is exciting yeah, here. You can actually see how we project it so that we can see exactly what we're gonna be engraving. We project the image. Can I see that if I get close enough? Come right over here. And Might be able to enough? pick it up in the camera or not. Can you see it projecting? Yeah. Okay. I so can that, see the red light. Anymore. Yeah. So essentially it's just showing us exactly where the image is going to be laid out so we make sure you get it straight and also that the size is correct. This is high excitement. This, this was a new toy for you guys a little while ago. Probably I've for a year now. You've had it a whole year? A whole year now. Wow, time flies. The only one in the state, there's only a handful of them in the country. Or you could take your Yeti cup. And a great <laughs> Mount Home Strength Yeti, whatever that is. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, for, it's for the high school, actually. And it they take a strength test. Oh. And you put all your strengths on it. Well, Wells Fargo must be a sponsor. <laughs> All those Fargo's on it. And then, and even, you had some Yetis. You got those? Which ones? Where you had it powder coated. You actually had them powder coated in two different colors, didn't you? Yeah, that, that system didn't end up working out. We couldn't get a consistency. So we ended up backing off of that. But he was able to go through, and some of it, you only hit it enough where it changed the color of the powder coat, and some of it, you went all the way through the powder coat. And we were cutting through different layers of the powder coat so we could create different colors. So we powder coat with a base color like red, and then we powder coat it with black over the top. So we were cutting through a razorback, and then we'd have a black outline, and then we'd cut all the way through to the stainless as well. It was pretty cool. Get a tricolor look. So amazing, amazing technology we have in this world. Amazing. Amazing. So if you're not putting just together the average car, you're going above average and beyond to infinity and beyond. This is some stuff you can do, and we can do it. You call us at uh, Spirit Cars. Can I do the MVC? Hey, MVC. With Spirit Cars, this is sponsored by. Corporate told me to do this. It's sponsored <laughs> by SpiritCars.com. Don't forget to go there. We go. We, uh, um, we build cars. That's what we do. We build cars. We build cars. And you guys have a website? We do. CartersJewelChest.com. Or you can email me, Chris, at CartersJewelChest.com. Or send us a message through Facebook as well, and we'll be happy to get you fixed up. We do engraving for clients all over the country right now. Haven't done any international yet, but I'm sure it's coming soon. So don't hesitate to shoot us a message and we'll get you fixed up with whatever you need. Just remember, do not like their Facebook page. <laughs> Spirit Cars has done international. We had to throw that one. Mm -hmm. We hang out with Australians. Yeah, we'll get the Australian dudes to. Okay, so you okay. can see up here. This is it. It's happening. You can stand right there and you can shoot too. You can see up there what's going on, you can see through here. So it's going on over here. Let's get right in front of it. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, you can look up there. That's actually what's going on. After doing all the testing, one pass was the darkest. Okay. This was the one that I thought came out the darkest. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a lot of times too, if you have a part that uh, we haven't engraved or we're not sure the material, we like to do testing on it to make sure that we know exactly what material we're working with and to get the best color. So as you can see, on the inside of this engine bracket, I, uh, I did four different tests to figure out which settings were going to give us the darkest spot on it too. So that might be something we discuss whenever you call me, is finding a piece that we can test on. 